We're down here at the print farm and today I'm going to test these three ANET printers for thermal runaway protection. A lot of people have made comments about they don't feel that the ANETs are safe and so forth. So I'm going to show you that they do have thermal runaway protection and how you can test for it. Okay, first of all, we're going to preheat the printer. Okay, that one's preheating. And we'll preheat this one. And we'll preheat this one. Now the idea is that we'll let all of these preheat. Thermal runaway protection is built into the firmware on the printers on the control board so it can monitor unusual heating of either the nozzle with the hot end or the bed and what it does and the way it works it basically determines that if those heating elements are staying on longer than they should to maintain a temperature then it's going to shut down. Now on the A-nets, it does shut down when this happens. And I don't know if there's a way to reset it or not. I always have to power the printer off and back on to uh, reset it and start over again. I did come down here once after a long power failure when the temperatures were in the teens and before I got the temperature back up in the room, the room temperature was like 40 degrees or something. And I turned on and I started preheating a couple of printers and a couple of them shut down on me. And the reason for that was that it was taking much longer to preheat and get the temperatures up on those printers than it should have normally taken. And that's because the ambient temperature was so cold, it really slowed down the process. So if you ever have that problem, have your printers out in the garage and it's real cold and you go out there to preheat them and they shut down on you, that's again the thermal runaway protection working when it's not supposed to. <laughs> but anyway, okay, now let's look at my printers. It looks like they are all preheated. Now, this little device here is my vacuum cleaner, and I use it for a lot of things. I use it in the vacuum mode to clean up around the printers and clean out dust and filament and stuff, strings of it that are in the printers. I also use it on vacuum seal bags for the filament when I'm sealing it up. But you can also reverse it and use it as a blower and blow things off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to blow air on both the nozzle and then on the bed. And what that's going to do, it's going to cool them to the point to where the printer keeps trying to get the temperature up on the hot end and it's trying to keep getting the temperature up on the bed and it's taking longer than normal which is the same as an indication that something may be wrong with the thermocouple or something and it will shut down the printer so let's just fix this up and monitor the display while I blow the air it's going to be noisy so I won't be able to talk over it now we're going to turn the air on and put the air on the nozzle up here. We're going to blow the cold air on the nozzle and I'm going to leave the camera so you can watch the display there. You'll see the temperature start dropping.
Shut down. Okay, that was the thermal runaway protection on that. And as you can see, we're preheated on the bed now. And we'll turn our air on. And watch that temperature drop rapidly. Okay, you can see it just shut down at your thermal runaway protection on the bed of the ANET printer. And we can go ahead and do the same thing on all of these. I won't take the time to do that on every one, but I do test all of these printers to make sure that the thermal runaway protection is working. But normally, if the printers are printing and maintaining bed temperature and hot end temperature the thermocouples then are functioning properly and the thermocouple would be the most common problem if you had a thermal runaway situation and that would be where the thermocouple failed and wasn't detecting the temperature and the printer continued to try to produce heat thinking that there's no heat on the bed or the hot end that can cause a problem it can damage the printer it can damage the bed with most of these printers you know we're all metal framed and what filament is on here now filament will burn but there aren't very many things that can catch fire or burn on a printer so most likely you're going to burn out your elements in your bed or burn out the heating element in the hot end but still it's better to be safe than sorry and you don't want to burn up parts of your printer so this thermal runaway protection takes care of it for you and all of the A-nets in here have it again going back to that old story I don't know if it's true or false but something about the old acrylic a nets that some of them did not have thermal runaway protection and caused uh, one to melt down or catch on fire or something maybe that's true and i can see the possibility of it but the all metal frames are a lot safer every printer i have has thermal runaway protection that's the Enders, the Tenlog, Monoprice, Tronixes, you name it. So printers are pretty safe nowadays. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.